Night fam, this video is not for everyone. It's very drastic and heavy, but Project Nightfall exists to fight for the truth. You're about to meet a man twice as bad as Hitler. But there is a big chance you don't know about him. A man who wanted to own the Philippines but somehow ended up killing millions of Africans. See, when we talk about the most cruel leaders from the past, we think about Adolf Hitler who killed way over 6 million people. But there is another monster we forgot to put in the history's hall of shame. King Leopold II of Belgium. Belgium. Leopold II murdered about half of Congo's population. That is an estimated 15 million African children, women and men and he was killing them in unimaginable ways. So why don't you know about him? What I'm about to say is very sensitive but it's true. We don't know about Leopold II because he killed people of Africa. Poverty, genocide, wars. For some reason our world was always less interested in the pain of the African people. But because every life should be seen as equal, Leopold II deserves to be put in history's hall of shame. Here is where this horrible story begins. Leopold II knew that Congo was rich in rubber, gold and ivory, three of the most expensive resources at that time. That is when in 1885 he decided to own Congo. And to convince the Belgian government to give him money, Leopold II disguised his slavery as a humanitarian project to convert the Congolese into civilized Christians. And it worked. A whole African country became a private property of just one man. But what he did as an owner for the next 23 years was far from Christian. He forced all natives to dig up gold, killed elephants for ivory and harvest rubber so he could sell them and keep all the profits for himself. And he was incredibly heartless in all of this. Leopold II recruited many Congolese people to torture their own people. He paid a large army of natives to enforce slavery. It didn't matter if you were a man women or a child. If you didn't work hard enough, your hands, arms or legs would be cut off. Just take a look at this man named Nsala, staring at the chopped off limbs of his five-year-old daughter, all because he failed to get enough rubber on that day. In 23 years, because of Leopold II's greed, 15 million people died in horrible ways. Until they finally broke their chains from Belgium in 1960. 60 years later, Belgium has not yet formally apologized for all the atrocities Leopold II did. It only expressed regret for the violence Congo suffered. Millions dead and no apology. Ladies and gentlemen, I expose this horrible part of history only because we never care enough for people of Africa and we need to do better than that. Because only when we open our eyes to the terrors of the past, no matter the country or the skin color, only when we expose all the Hitlers of our history by putting them in the history's hall of shame, only then we will be able to say that every life is truly equal.